you should never give a woman a second chance if you do these two things that i'm going to measure on this video number one you should never give a woman a second chance if she cheats on you when a woman cheats on you as a guy you're like oh maybe she did it because she was kind of super she did it because and uh, someone just like you know no a woman will never give her body to someone she don't have anything with like connected with a woman will never give her body to a man that she don't have any feeling for except it's otherwise that is why if you are in a relationship with someone or you are in a marriage with someone and you find out that this person is cheating on you know how how painful it is your mental health is important in your life you should value your mental health before you think of another person yourself first if anything happened to you that person you are trying to like please the person will forget you you are gone you are gone this life is once it does not have duplicates so don't play with your life just because you want to prove people wrong that you can still forgive her or you can still forgive your friend even though she she hurt you or even though he hurt you because men can hurt man woman can hurt woman woman can hurt men that is what i'm trying to say so if a woman cheats on you in a relationship with that woman you find out that she cheated on you and you give her a second chance she will continue to cheat you know why you should believe that you are giving her a second chance she can still come back to you and beg you when you find out that she cheated again. She will still do it. And you yourself like, oh, you know, you forgive me the other time when I beg you. That is why. And you know, I've done it with that guy. And the guy was like, oh, you, you, you want to blackmail me if I didn't give it to him now. Nah. You guys try to give you excuse. Or she will blame you. For making her to shit on you it's your fault you know i was telling you to give me this you refuse to give me so i'm like what do you want me to do i have no choice now nah. i have no choice is her body a sacrifice for that no a woman that is disciplined is disciplined so when you marry someone or you get involved with someone that is not disciplined and the person is blaming you she will continue to blame you she will continue to cheat on you and by the time you realize you'll be too late that's why you see most cases some men find out that ah this child is not their child we have to be more careful the life is so precious you should value your life take your life as egg if you break that is end of it so don't use your life to play with because we want to please someone please yourself first are you happy do you like the way you are feeling right now the emotional that you are feeling, the emotional trauma that you are feeling, do you like it? Do you want to continue in that way? So when a woman cheats on you, you should what? never give her a second chance. A cheating person will always be a cheating person. He will tell you, I did it because of this. Uh, you know, you, you are not giving me. When I every time ask you to come and give it to me, you will say, you are tired, you are tired. That is why I went out to cheat on you. It's a lie. A disciplined person will never do that. That is why it's important for a man, before you settle down with that woman, or a woman, before you settle down with that man, make sure that is this kind of person that I can deal with for the rest of my life. This is what we are saying. This is a life changing. Where you make this change in your life, it can never be reversed. That name that you have married is always on your head that you have married. Mostly you know that you wedded this person, you did the traditional right and everything at the end of it, the person betrayed your trust and cheated on you. You know how hot it is. It's painful. You know, he that wear the shoe know where he pisses it. So when you are in that shoe, you know how it feels. Second example, never give a woman or anyone a second chance if the person betray your trust. Betrayer, they can stab you at the same time. They can harm you at the same time. Someone that betray your trust. You have this deal with this person. You guys have planned this together. That brought this idea into this deal. And this person went at your back and concluded on this deal without telling you. 
and later on you find that from someone else at the end the person will like come to you oh i'm sorry you know i was kind of desperate to like sign that d you know i was telling you to let's do it like you are saying that no 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 that is bastarding that is a betrayer you should never give somebody like that a second chance your life is precious don't play with your life that kind of person can harm you that kind of person can do undo so you have to give them space. Even the Bible made us understand that we should eat with the enemy with a long spoon, not a short spoon. Give them space with wisdom, you know? Don't allow them to soak into your life. Don't allow them to know every details of your life. Give them that space. Let them know that you know what you are doing. Not by confronting, not by challenging, not by abusing. No! Do it in a smart way. They'll be wondering what, are, what, are, what is going on in your life? What is happening? You are not like before. Just give them an excuse and that's all. They have no right to know every details of your life. Somebody that have betrayed you, just for instance, a woman too, or a woman betray you as a guy. Or you are a guy, you betray a woman. You know how painful it is. This betrayer we are talking about, where somebody trusts you so much, and you by stab that person is a big blow to that person that pain is staying inside the person's chest it's a vastly pain anytime the person remember that pain it hurt the person so much so why giving that person more space to enter and hurt you more and more because once you have hurt you one it will hurt you two it will hurt you three it will hurt you more because he or she knows you more than you know yourself. She has studied you. You know the kind of person. You know what you want. You know how he can deal with you. So why giving that kind of person a shorter spoon to come closer to your life and know everything and use it against you again? Do you know sometimes there are some people that are into your life that you want giving people like information to like make some non-necessary noise about you. Saying same things that are not relevant in your life, same things that are not right, same things that are not true in your life, because they know some certain things around you. So you should never give this kind of people a second chance. Leave them, let them go, give them space. Life is too short to play around with. When you see someone betray you, someone cheating on you, these two things are important in life. God, these are the things that can bring damage to your life. These are the things that can make you to feel humiliated, feel downgraded, feel bad of yourself. And make you to be broken, like emotionally down, mentally down, unstable. You'll be traumatized. These are the things that happen to a man or a woman when they experience this kind of thing for anyone. So that is why you should never give someone a second chance when they do these kind of things to you. Leave them, let it go. Live your life. Try to be on yourself. Being alone does not mean that you are lonely, but know what is right for you to do at the right time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to press the notification bell. Whenever we upload a new video, you can get all our uploads. See you guys in our next video. I love you guys.